Howdy all you delicious people, I am here today to pay tribute to Jason David Frank, but also, I wanted to watch some Power Rangers episodes. Really, I was to kind of, I was to find out that Jason David Frank had passed away, and I was just, like, thinking, like, is this another hoax death? This can't be true, and... I would also start going through and seeing a lot of people post this, a lot of people mentioning it. I'm like, okay, this must be true. And then I found out that this was to uh, be a suicide, a self-death. And so I was even more just like, this can't be true. But somehow it was. So I was to... Uh, just wanted to like seek comfort and the way of which that I went on to do that was just to watch Power Rangers episodes was to go on and uh, watch like Power Rangers YouTube channel uh, interviews just go on and just kind of uh, like try and like seek out comfort in any way of which that I could. So, I did that by just watching Power Rangers episodes. So, the episodes of which that I had picked were simply ones that I had either not covered on the channel, or certain episodes where I was like, okay, I've never seen this episode before, and it's this big, massive crossover episode. And I'm like, okay, like, I want to see what Tommy does with the, uh, the Master Morpher. That looks interesting. And... Like, if anything, the, like, the episode was just really interesting. And, like, I know there were so many other, uh, like, Tommy episodes that I could have picked from. Like, of course, the Dino Thunder episode where he's in a coma and he's visited by all of his other Power Rangers uh, that he has been in the past. He fights them all off. Or we could have gone on and had me... Uh, finally watched that Zeo episode where Tommy ends up getting brainwashed and then Jason has to come in to try to convince Tommy, like, hey man, like, snap out of it. And, like, I could have gone on and, and gone into a number of different, like, crossover events that Tommy had been involved in um, that really were, like, uh, something really interesting. But... Like, again, I was just like, well, like, how many times has Tommy been on this show? Uh, and also, how many times, uh, like, has Tommy, like, even just come back, even in Dino Thunder? And, like, I'd come to, like, cover a number of episodes of Dino Thunder. So, like, I was just like, you know what? Like, let's just cover this. Let's just cover these episodes. And so, with that said, like... I really also wanted uh, to just tell everybody, like a lot of people were to, of course, to be when they were a kid, that they all went on to really just go on Saturday mornings when like Power Rangers were just simply on uh, some channel somewhere. And like I was too a kid that would just uh, wake up in the morning just to watch Power Rangers but also some 90s Spider-Man. And then I would probably either go right back to bed because I, of course, was a person that, like, stayed up really late at night on weekends uh, because, like, I really just, like, was like, yay, freedom to just stay up as long as I want to. And then, uh, but yeah, for some reason, I would always just wake up right uh, as the Power Rangers episode is going on. So I'm like, yeah, like, let's watch Power Rangers on Saturdays. So, uh, so yeah, so, like, I was that guy. Like, I did that. Um, and then much later, uh, I found out that Power Rangers was all available on Amazon at some point. And so I just started spamming Amazon to be like, hey, like, uh, Tommy came back on Dino Thunder? Let me watch Dino Thunder. Let me see what this is. Uh, because I watched, like, all the way from, like, the first uh, Power Money Morphin Power Rangers episode all the way to Zero, Zio, 
And I was like, okay, like Tommy went back into Dino Thunder, and then I watched that whole thing. I watched SPD. I watched a number of other seasons. I was like, wow, these episodes are really good. Are uh, these shows are really good? And then there's some others where it's just like I could care less because really, uh, like they're obviously just some of them are just not good shows uh, or not good seasons. Um, but there was like interesting events with them. Like uh, Megaforce had that interesting. Uh, thing where they would go on and like change to all different kinds of rangers and so yeah so with that said let's go on and let's talk about the episodes that i'm going to go on and go into spoilers about and go in more depth about hopefully so the one that i decided to do was money more from power rangers season 2 episode 17 and 18 this of course is the debut of tommy becoming the white ranger and i know a lot of people would say spoilers man spoilers but i think a lot of people would know like that tommy at some point had become the white ranger <laughs> i don't think it's a spoiler to if anybody had never gone on and seen the show uh or the movie or any number of things that ended up happening at some point um but so tommy came back to be the white ranger because come to find out jason david frank had stated that uh Jason David Frank was going to go on to do VR Troopers. And after kind of his time as Green Ranger ended. So we had Jason David Frank who was going to do VR Troopers. But then all of a sudden, like, uh, Saban called uh, Jason David Frank and stated, like, hey, like, there's several kids that, uh, like, are eating. They aren't sleeping. And they're doing all this because you're not on this show. Uh, you're not on the show as the Green Ranger because that's the ki that's every kid's favorite Power Ranger, and so like, hey, come back to the show. We'll figure something out. And so that's of course when they put in the White Ranger. And so it's like, all right, like, yeah, like, uh, like I of course was to really enjoy the green ranger and i wish they could have continued that but it just really doesn't make sense like it makes sense to have just like time has passed and so on and so forth it makes sense to do another ranger so weirdly enough we had like tommy dubbed as the new leader of the power rangers and then like jason's like that sounds great and i was like but does it <laughs> like if i were her like hey like this Tommy's coming in as a White Ranger and he's going to be becoming the new leader. I was a little bit confused about that. Um, but yeah, but I'd always state it's like, well, hey, like, why does the Red Ranger always have to become the leader? Because there's a number of other combinations of other colors that at some point had stepped in and been the leader at a number of times uh, when certain situations would arise. But so, anyways... We have me hopefully like trying to remember all of this Power Ranger stuff um, because there's certain locales, there's certain things that I have to go on and figure out or remember uh, from a number of different seasons or just really uh, just even remember Mining Morph and uh, stuff like Juice Bars and, and Command Centers and, and Zordon and Alpha 5 and like what what Zord are they into this this season? <laughs> Is it the dinosaurs? Is it the the unicorn and the uh and the white tiger? What's going on? What's going on this one? So, with that said, uh, we have the unicorn Zord. <laughs> uh, Billy had made a joke about how like he was to state it's like, well, why in season two was I given the unicorn Zord? Like, uh, like I don't know. Uh, but uh. Either way, it's just like, hey, like, it's good to just keep working. So I think that's what a lot of people would just say. It's like, hey, it was, it was good to just keep uh, keep working and keep doing uh, a job that eventually a lot of people uh, were to go on and, and love that I did for a number of years after I'd gone on and uh, I was done with it. So that's great. So, uh, but anyways, so... We have uh, Nimrod, the Scarlet Sentinel, 
who is to be the villain for uh, both of these two episodes as Lord Zed is to uh, go on and find this sentinel uh, statue and make a villain out of it, which is to just be this kind of hand looking uh, monster, this like fist monster. And so I was like, OK, like that's a little goofy. But when really looking at it, like. At least they made a story for the monster and how it became what it became. Because there is just a lot of times where a lot of episodes, uh, they convincingly, like, just chuck the monster in. There's no story, or sometimes what the story of the monster does do, it doesn't really tie into them. It's just some random thing that they put. It's like, oh yeah, like, this is to be a violin monster, and it looks like a, like a monster that looks like a taco. I'm like, why is it a violin monster? <laughs> Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> like you just have a number of people that are all just making monsters and they're just like, uh, what would best fit for this episode? None of these <laughs> just pick one then. Okay. So we, have both Alpha and Zordon who are uh, really just shutting a lot of uh, certain power down in the command center. And when the Power Rangers really need both Alpha and Zordon as guidance, they aren't there. So the Power Rangers are trying to figure out what Alpha and Zordon are doing to the point at, uh, at the end of the 17th episode... Billy goes on to find out what exactly they're doing. And like, it's really interesting visual with Billy just kind of like, Hey, what's going on? <laughs> oh, they're doing a new Ranger. Ah, oh. so then we of course have episode 18 where everybody's kind of dealing with like, Oh my God, like they're making a new Ranger and it's not Tommy. Why not? Like he's the only one that, that knows about us. He's the only one that's been with us for uh, for so long. Like, why isn't it Tommy? Come to find out, it ends up being Tommy. <laughs> so like, oh yeah, hey, great. Yeah, the one person we wanted uh, to come back, he came back. So we then have Tommy, who is to unleash out all of his new powers to wipe out the villain of that episode. So uh, as well as showcasing the Mega Tiger Zord that, of course, is to be combined with all of the other uh, Zords that would normally go into the Mega uh, Thunder Zord, uh, which, of course, like you couldn't have gone on and had like a uh, just a real catchy uh, name for that one. You just have to like you have to just add thunder and a lot of stuff for some reason. I don't know why uh, for this season or for this for this for the show. So. Now, of course, we go on to Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel, episode 10. So, come to find out in this episode, we have the Super Ninja Steel Rangers that need to go on to Mick's workshop. And so, Mick goes on and is to tell uh, the Power Rangers that they are in for a surprise as they have a number of other Rangers appear from this gateway. And this of a... This is to be, of course, Wes, who is the red, uh, is a red Time Force Ranger, and Gemma, who is the Silver Series, uh, RPM Ranger, which don't know much about RPM either, <laughs> so I didn't know who Gemma was. Uh, and then we had Kodo, who, of course, I've seen in Power Rangers Dino Charge. Uh, who is to, of course, be the caveman-speaking ranger uh, that, of course, is to be by the end of this episode talking about a mammoth hunt that he's going to go on and do. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> like, I don't remember, like, they're in Dino Charge being, like, when Coda talks about, like, dinosaurs still being a thing in his world, I'm like... I don't remember that much happening at all in Dino Charge, but, like, I know that there is, like, the dinosaurs, and they're, like, they're in the statues, and, like, they come to life, but, like, I, I don't know what Coda was talking about. 
about him going on a mammoth hunt. And like, ah, it's a funny joke. But so we also like I had found out that there had been like a number of goof ups in this episode because if you have a huge, massive crossover event like this. There's bound to be a number of uh, things that are to be mistakes. Uh, and like, it's funny to find out that uh, the pink turbo ranger, whose cat who comes back in this episode, uh, she of course goes on to uh, like have her turbo morpher, but she didn't have like the key for it. So bizarrely, they just gave her this like metal piece to make it look like she had a key and just jabbed into her like morpher. But you really don't see it on camera. Like there's a bunch of stuff that they kind of from a distance, like try to pull off, especially when um, reasonably like there's a, like there's a lot of just a lot of stuff to just com compile in this episode and there's bound to be mistakes. So that's what editing's for. I don't know how many times, like, I would go on in the early part of SPD. Uh, there was one character that went on and completely dropped their morpher or a piece of their morpher while they were trying to morph. And you could tell that, like, the cameraman tried to, like, shy away from it. But the guy dropped the morpher. Or he dropped a piece of it. And so I was like, oh, okay, like, that's, that's kind of funny. Like, I like mistakes. Like, I want to go on and see all of the mistakes and all the, the things that people messed up on. Like, it's fun. So, with that said, uh, let's go on and let's just go into, uh, or let's talk about more of the, the Super Ninja Steel. So, come to find out, the Rangers from the other dimension are going with the Ninja Steel Dimension Rangers to now find Tommy Oliver. And come to find out, we have another evil Tommy Oliver. Because <laughs> Tommy just likes to be, or Jason David Frank, just likes to be evil on the show. He likes to be an evil character. And so uh, he ends up in this episode becoming a evil robot version of Tommy. So they have to go on and justify that there is to be a number of Robo Rangers that are to go on and have a robo ranger army that are to try to go up against the power rangers and so now to even the odds we have all of these power rangers all coming back from all different seasons to combat this threat and i was like oh my god we have like the white uh dino thunder ranger we have uh the gold samurai ranger which i thought was so goofy but uh, when really looking at it, it's like, hey, cool. Like, uh, I remember that show. I remember that season. We had the Blue Space Ranger, uh, who, of course, was uh, was TJ. Uh, we had Cat, who came back uh, as the Pink Turbo Ranger to, to really just show variety. And heaven forbid you have, like, her just be a Zeo Ranger. We, like, had all these Power Rangers coming back, and I'll go on and I'll, I'll state them. Uh, hopefully when I go on and, and I remember all of, uh, the people that were on this episode, cause there's so many of them. Uh, so with that said, I think it's about that time to just go into that double five time territory. So I think it's about that time yet again to of course go into spoiler time, spoiler time. It's about that time you're going to spoil these episodes. Uh, really also when going into this one, uh, hopefully I'm going to remember everything because really it's been a while since I've had to really sit down and watch Power Ranger episodes. So more than likely, if I go on and I just kind of blank out, cause I'm just like, is this a juice bar? What, what is this? What is the, what is the place where everyone hang out? <laughs> because like, there's so many different seasons that I've seen. And so really I'm just like, okay, like where are they hanging out in this one? Where are they going out in this one? Uh, and, and especially super Ninja steel. I don't know where they hang out in that, that season. Uh, because it's really just one episode that I have to cover. So, uh, and plus also I've seen Mighty Morphin Power Rangers a lot. So hopefully I can go and remember everything. So in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers season two, episodes 17 and 18, we go on to have both Bulk and Skull that are making their way into the juice bar. 
And they're getting these sandwiches, I think, from a guy named Matty. Because Ernie is not behind the counter for some reason. So, we have both Bulk and Skull who are both talking to uh, Kimberly, Trini, and I think Billy. And so, they go on and they're starting to talk about a party that they're throwing for Tommy because Tommy is coming back. And they're like, oh great, like, that's awesome. Like, we'll completely forget about even throwing him a party, but that's great. Like, that's awesome. So, we go on and, of course, uh, transition to have both Zordon and Alpha now needing to adjust the master control panel. And they decide that it's about time for them to go on to this hidden chamber to do their secret mission. So, we of course had found out that a number of kids had either been losing sleep or have of course uh, stopped eating because Tommy wasn't the right way, wasn't uh, a Power Ranger. And so, like, we have to do something about that in this episode. <laughs> or these episodes. So, we have Alpha... And we have Zordon, who just turn out all the lights, and they go into this hidden chamber, and they had adjusted all of their power to go into this one hidden chamber room. And so, we have, of course, the, uh, like, the, the guys that are all the Power Rangers, but they're, they're not, of course, power, they're kind of depowered. They all are to go on and play football with, uh, with some, with some guys, uh, because of course Zach and Jason are mentioning that they want to go and play football, so they end up playing with a guy named Curtis. So that seems to be the main guy that they say, "Hey, Curtis, yeah, go long." So we have Jason, we have Zach, and they're playing football, and we rarely have this black tape that goes over. Uh, the football skin, obviously, to try to censor that off. So, it's kind of like when you would have certain people with hats that have, like, duct tape over the hat because they can't show certain logos or whatever. So, we have all of a sudden, uh, while these guys are playing football and just enjoying and having fun, we all of a sudden see an explosion because uh, something has hit Earth's atmosphere at this, I'm assuming, park that they're at. So we have Curtis who's looking on as like, well, hey, like, did something explode? Is somebody working on something? Is there construction work somewhere? And we have Power Ranger who's just like, well, I don't know. Like, I'm not sure. Like, let's investigate. So we all of a sudden find both Bulk and Skull that have made their way to whatever is landed in Earth's atmosphere. And this comes to find out to be the space dumpster that, of course, Rita Repulsa is to have been, uh, has been in and then had been free from. And she's like, after 10,000 years, I'm free. It's time to take over the world. And she somehow had gotten re-put into this space dumpster and now is to land back on Earth where Bulk and Skull are to be touching on this thing. And we have Bulk who is to realize like, oh my god, like, hot, hot, hot. So Skull, who luckily has gloves on, is to take this space dumpster. And they're like, okay, we're going to go back to our garage. And we're going to go on and try to uh, get this open. So we... Go on to have both Billy and Jason that investigate the whole uh, the whole comet, and they see nothing there, but they realize that the environment that this thing had hit is very hot. So they're like, well, like, not quite sure uh, what had happened here, but I guess we should probably go on and go to the command center to see if they know anything. So we go on to have the Power Rangers that go to the command center. 
And so come to find out the command center is very dark. I'm like, hey, what's going on? And it's like, well, yeah, it's like, it looks very different in here without the lights on. So Billy realizes that he's like, well, hey, like, uh, it seems that they have this, like, activity disc. And, like, I can look at this and see, like, what activity they've gone on and done. And so we have the Rangers that's like, okay, I guess we can do that. Because we have the Power Rangers that go on uh, to also, while they're at this football field... We have Zed and we have Goldar and we have, uh, like, Babu and, uh, God, what is the other, uh, Squat. Man, that just came into my brain. <laughs> we have Lord Zed that is going on to, uh, want to unleash a new monster out there because... Zordon and Alpha somehow are not at the command center. And so they're like, well, hey, like, maybe, uh, maybe there's a, there's a problem going on. Or maybe, like, uh, like the command center is in a weakened state. So we should really take advantage of this by trying to get a, a monster out as quickly as possible. But come to find out, Zed is to try to make this. Uh, the Scarlet Sentinel come from this scar this Sentinel statue, and for some reason, it's really needing to bake. It seems, or really seems to be uh, needing to uh, some time to to keep churning. So. We have Zack that goes on after kind of throwing the football with uh, with Curtis and the guys. Zack goes on to find this Sentinel statue. And it's realized that there's like a lot of just strange goop around it. And there's a lot of strange ooze around it. And so Zack goes on to uh, want to call both Jason and Billy over because all the other rangers are there so that way they can try to figure out what's going on and that's when they just go to the command center as zach is tell the guys it's like well hey guys like i'm really exhausted from playing football like i'll see you guys later and curtis is like yeah me too so we had the power rangers go to the command center and that's when they find out that like everything there is just like dark there's like there's no one there so, we have the Power Rangers going in uh, to Billy's, uh, Billy's place, and we just have Billy who's tick, 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 all over this, uh, all over this keyboard, and we have Billy finding out that uh, both Alpha and Zordon had went through this certain um, hidden chamber within the command center. But he doesn't quite understand why. So. Zed of course is to start to get impatient. About the Scarlet Sentinel. Not. Being out yet. It's still like. It's still cooking. So Zed finally goes on to use more of its power. To. Try. And get this monster. To come out. Because, of course, we would have Zed, who uses putties against the Power Rangers, and the Power Rangers goes on and defeats all these putties. And so now, we have the Scarlet Sentinel that is now face off against the Power Rangers, after they've gone on and uh, noticed what activities both Alpha and Zordon had gone on to do. So... We have the Power Rangers morph to take on the Scarlet, uh, the Scarlet Sentinel, and really we just quickly see that the Scarlet Sentinel is to grow into a much bigger monster. 
And so now, of course, we have all the Power Rangers calling for their Thunder, their Thunder Zords. And uh, we, of course, go on to go with the Thunder Megazord. So we have the Thunder Megazord that goes after uh, the Scarlet Sentinel. And she all of a sudden is to bring up these two other look-alike uh, characters that are bizarrely called AC and DC. So somebody must have liked a rock band and call these monsters th this because the names don't quite connect with... <laughs> like, I guess the names don't really matter, uh, but, it, like, the visuals do, I guess. A at, at least as long as it kind of matches what this uh, other character looks like, right? So... We have easily the Thunder Megazord getting blasted and so the Thunder Megazord falls down and Billy's like oh my god like I need to go back to the command center I need to find out where Zordon and Alpha are I'm gonna just jump out of the the Megazord and get to the command center and see if Alpha and Zordon can help us so Billy goes back to the command center and continues to just hit buttons and hit things he's like i don't know what these do but i'm just gonna hit buttons and so all of a sudden we have billy who remembers this access code and that all of a sudden opens him into the hidden chamber so billy starts walking into this hidden chamber with his helmet off to the side and so billy all of a sudden is to see this uh this kind of drain uh like thing that is to have him kind of peek into this room where he can kind of see down into this room to find that both Alpha and Zordon are working on this White Ranger. Or maybe it's the Gold Ranger. Because who knows? <laughs> they didn't specify it was if it was a White Ranger until the following episode. Could have been the Gold Ranger. Could have had an early gold ranger, but no, you went with a white ranger. <laughs> because it makes the most sense. Yes, it does. So, let's go into episode 18. Because we just have Billy who's going like, Huh? 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 White ranger? Huh? And, like, that's the end of that episode. So, let's go into episode 18. So, Billy is to find out that somebody is putting up some white rangers. So... Billy goes on with the rest of the Power Rangers and is to break the news to them at his uh, at his his place. So everybody is going on and stating like, well, hey, like, why isn't Tommy, of course, the White Ranger? Like, it should make all the sense. Like, why did they pick someone else? Why did they find somebody else? And we had also in, in episode 17, we had seen Tommy who is swimming uh, in this water, and once he gets out uh, with these shorts that are obviously not green or obviously not white or whichever, he's not color-coded to his ranger. We have Tommy who gets out of the water and then is to all of a sudden just start to... Uh, uh, as he all of a sudden is green and white, green and white, green and white. And so all of a sudden Tommy disappears. So, nobody, I guess, gives, uh, nobody really cares about, like, well, hey, where is Tommy right now? Nobody calls him, nobody sends him a tweet, nothing. So, <laughs> the Power Rangers, we didn't have Twitter back then. We didn't have <laughs> all the stuff that you're stating. I know, but it's a joke. So, we have the Power Rangers that are just kind of shocked by this news, and so we have Alpha and we have Zordon, who it seems are finished working on this new Ranger. So we go on to have now Alpha calling the Power Rangers. So Jason is getting the, the command uh, or the communicator and they're hearing that they need to be called back to the command center. It's like, well, this must be this must be the big news. This must be that we're getting a new ranger. So we 
have the Power Rangers coming back to the command center, and we had Zordon breaking into the team that they are going to have a new Power Ranger, and of course, this is going to be the White Power Ranger. And so we have all of a sudden the Power Ranger coming from the sky, coming in like, ah, ah, and all the Rangers are just like, who could it be? Like, I don't know. Like, and so Zornan is stating that they had chosen this candidate, trying to make it vague. So we have the White Ranger that comes in and he drops down. And so he's to kind of unclick his helmet. Click, click. And so we all of a sudden have Kimberly who passes out. Uh, like, I, like... If it's not Tommy, then I'm just going to pass out. Cause, uh... So, we have Tommy that takes uh, that takes his, his helmet and he demorphs. Uh, this is the... I have this, by the way. Um, but it was a funny thing to do uh, at that moment. So, uh, we... Had Tommy showed everybody that it's like, hey, guys, I'm back. And that's really what he kind of just keeps saying. He's like, hey, it's great to be back. It's it's back. Back in black. ACDC. But I'm white. <laughs> I'm white, Ranger. Anyways, so. We. Have, of course, everybody that's really excited. Everybody's happy that Tommy's back. Kimberly, of course, is still on the floor. Uh, and so Tommy goes over to Kimberly and is to try to wake her up. And Tommy is to use his white Power Ranger skill uh, to uh, revive Kimberly by simply touching her in the right way. And Kimberly wakes back up and is like, oh, Tommy, it's you. And so they end up stating also that Tommy is going to get the sweet Saba sword and we have Tommy who kind of grabs it from the sky and is like, yeah, all right. So now we have to go on and, and set up that, like, okay, like, we have to go on and have the Power Rangers face off against the Scarlet Sentinel again. But Billy is to let both Zordon and Alpha know, it's like, well, hey, like, our, like, Zords have gotten really damaged and, like, they need to be repaired. And Zordon's like, well, that's, uh, that's what I, uh, assessed. So, Zordon is to go on and send Billy and Trini off to somehow fix the Zords. And so, the rest of the Rangers are gonna go on and, uh, go back into action. And all of them are gonna morph. And that's when we end up seeing that like Tommy has this like white tank top but all the other rangers are all having their like their CGI'd <laughs> all you can see is the color <laughs> but then when we get into other seasons like we'll go on and see like different approaches of how they do morphing and other things uh but so we have the guys who go on to fight more putties uh whoever is not really Tommy because Tommy is to go on and get Saba and is to bring forth the, uh, the white tiger Zord. So we of course have the white tiger Zord. That's kind of like, it's kind of, kind of just flapping. It's, it's, uh, it's front, uh, it's front paws and just, ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> White Ranger Tiger Power! <laughs> and then we just had this thing just kind of going... I ended up, when I was a kid, I ended up getting, like, the, the White Tiger Zord, Zord. And, like, man, that thing just, like, pop, 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 pop. I was like, man, this thing looks so fun. Like, the thing that would just kind of go on and just be the, the thing that would just kind of go by itself and just be smacking. And I'm like, wow, this is great. So... We all of a sudden have it where uh, Tommy is talking to Saba and like Tommy and Saba, I guess, got on the wrong foot. 
But like Tommy telling Salva, it's like, well, hey, like I haven't had to work with a partner before, so like, uh, like we'll get used to this. We'll get used to this team up. So we all of a sudden have the tigers or that like flops and like just falls on the ground. And so Tommy ends up falling and he ends up flopping and almost bending his uh seemingly rubber sword at some point. And so Tommy grabs Saba. It's like, yeah, like, what are you doing? And Saba's like, I'm doing my job. And like, Tommy's just like, I don't know about that. So <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, but anyways, so we have Tommy that jumps into the tiger Zord. And so Tommy is now going to go on and like face against the still large and in charge, uh, Scarlet Sentinel. So, Tommy ends up going on to, of course, unleashing uh, one of these balls to put in this hole to go on and have this blast being put out. And so, it seems that ends up getting, like, a pretty decent hit, but not enough to, like, just destroy uh, this monster. So... We go on to have Tommy try to become the, uh, the, uh, like, I think I would probably just state that it's, like, the, the Mega Tigazord, but it's just kind of, like, the thing that actually just looks like a person. So, we have Tommy that tries to go on and fight off uh, the, uh, the, the Scarlet, the, the Scarlet Sentinel and then the ACDCs. And that's when Tommy's like, oh my God, like I'm outnumbered here. I need to go on and call Jason to send me the rest of the Zords because like, I want to go on and become the, the mega thunder, uh, or the mega the mega tiger zord with all of the uh other zords like attached to me and then having the uh tyrannosaurus rex dragon thunder zord just kind of being its own thing and like fighting against like all of these uh these uh these sentinels so jason gets the message so they end up calling for the zords they end up zording it up, and so once we go on and have Tommy become the uh, the Mega Tiger Zord uh, with all of the other uh, Zords attached to him, then he goes on to, of course, uh, unleash the. Uh, the one weapon that he goes on to fire out of his out of the wrists and it is to of course be uh kimberly zord that goes on and just wipes out all of the sentinels and takes them out and we have of course both mega tiger zord and we have the tyrannosaurus uh or the yeah the tyrannosaurus red dragon uh, just kind of standing tall, like, yeah, we did it. So, come to find out the Rangers are to realize, after they are kind of done fighting for the day, that Bulk and Skull are very close to figuring out how to open up this space dumpster to, again, let Rita be free! Because she, of course, had stated that so many times, in a number of intros of the other original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. After 10,000 years, I'm free. Time to take over the world. So, we had Bulk and Skull that was using, like, drill bits. Uh, they were, like, using these weird, goofy, uh, like, can openers. They were using all of this goofy stuff to try to get this thing open through two episodes. And it did not work. So, by the time that both Bulk and Skull finally just get exhausted, 
This is, of course, when also Rita has been saying, like, I have a headache. Ah! And so finally, at some point, Rita is to get free. But then the Power Rangers are to be right then and there, seeing both Bulk and Skull, who had fallen asleep. And so we have the Power Rangers that go on and grab Rita as if she is the size of an action figure to be held in their hands and are to tell Rita, it's like, oh, no, 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 you're not going to get out that easy. Like, you're just going to go back into the space dumpster and you're just going to go off somewhere else until Rita somehow is to uh, go on and be teaming up with Zed uh, to try and take on the Power Rangers at some point. So... Really, that's just the the ending of these episodes. So let me know in the comments below how you felt about the debut of the the white uh, the white ranger, Tommy as the white ranger. So with that said, now to go on and try to cover the uh, the combo platter of which is to be the Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel, which. Of course, I probably won't know what their version of the juice bar is in that show because all I knew was that Mick had a workshop. That's all I knew or really felt that I had to know in this episode. So whatever juice bar thing that they had where they were playing like billiard balls with, I don't know where that location really is. Um, the only thing that I also really knew uh, from any number of these rangers is I know that the... The blue uh, Ninja Steel Ranger ends up going on to be in the Power Rangers Hyper Force uh, RPG YouTube thing. Uh, and so, like, I was like, the only person that I know is possibly the blue Ranger. That's that's it. Uh, only because I've seen him on something else. But so, we go on into this episode... And so the beginning of this episode, of course, is to be that the Power Rangers uh, are at this kind of billiard place. They're playing pool. And all of a sudden we end up having a mechanic that goes on to tell the Power Rangers, hey, guys, like, uh, like playing pool is over. Like, I need to have you all come to the workshop, uh, mix workshop, uh, to kind of let you know something. So mechanic is to have these guys make their way to this workshop. And so mechanic just kind of pushes Redbot aside and mechanic goes on to explain that, uh, they are going to be meeting some other dimensional power rangers here. So, all of a sudden, we see three people come in in cloaks, and they're like, oh my god, that's the Red Time Force Ranger. That's Wes. Oh my god, that's the RPM uh, Silver Series uh, Gemma that I that the Power Rangers are not aware of, but I thought I would just state who she is anyways, because they don't know her, because they don't know her dimension. And so, all of a sudden, Coda shows up and like, who is this caveman Power Ranger? I don't know who he is either, but he's the blue dino charge ranger, who of course is Coda, who had gone on to be the caveman uh, Power Ranger that always was very goofy when he talked. So Wes is going on to explain that how they were going to go on and go through all these dimensions, of course, is through the transportal device. And so Koda is to explain that they don't want to go on and use this too often only for really big emergencies. So, like, of course, this is going to have to be one of those big emergencies. So we have Wes going on and explaining that these Power Rangers need the help of Super Ninja Steel, but they also need to find Tommy. And Mechanic is like, Tommy? Tommy Oliver? And... Wes is like, yes, we need to go to Reef's side and find him because we need his help. So all the Rangers end up going on to Reef's side. And so we have Tommy that is getting a, a, a call 
from a lady. And it seems that we find out that Tolly, Tolly, Tommy is to have a son named JJ. Whoever that is, don't really know. Probably never comes up again, but wouldn't that have been great if it did? So, almost in a kind of like a Black Panther kind of way, but eh, it is what it is. So, we have all of a sudden Tommy calling this woman, like, stating that it's like, well, hey, yeah, like, uh, like, if anything, I want to, like, I want to meet with you later, but, uh, if anything, I want to just kind of, I want to, uh, pick up JJ. So, Tommy all of a sudden realizes that, uh, this bike is kind of not where it should be, so Tommy goes on and disciplines his son, uh, by saying, like, hey, JJ, like, why is your bike here? <laughs> like, I told you. And JJ's like, I'm sorry, Dad. So, all of a sudden, Tommy turns because he goes on to hear an unusual voice that ends up being Lord Draven. Not Lord Draken, Lord Draven. So, we... Because, of course, if you've heard about the, the Shattered Grid story, like, we have, like, Wes and all these other Power Rangers in that story, too. And that's really interesting at some points. And it even has the Hyperforce Rangers. So... Bizarrely, we have uh, at some points where certain people have been tied into certain stories, possibly twice. Who knows? But anyways, so we have Tommy that turns and is to hear an unusual voice. So we go on to have all the Power Rangers, the, the Super Ninja Steels, and the other, the Extra Rangers... <laughs> That have made their way to Reefside. And they're like, well, like, uh, like I want to really meet this Tommy Oliver guy. Yeah, it, it sounds great. So they go on to Tommy's place to find out that uh, we, of course, instead have Madame um, Otius. That, of course, had been the, uh, uh, the, uh, personal advisor of Galvanax and to the point that Galvanax had been won over by Madame Odious so much so uh, that it's like, well, hey, you're going to be the new threat for these Rangers. And so it kind of feels like uh, like the Power Rangers in space kind of way of doing things where we had like Andromeda who ends up getting uh, like sent out by uh, the monster guy who looked like the monster from uh, Power Rangers Turbo. <laughs> Which I don't remember what his name was. But if anything, I ended up, I think, doing some Power Rangers in space reviews. So that name will be in there somewhere. So we have Madame Odious, who is going on to talk to Lord Draven. And so... Come to find out Lord Draven had gone on to capture Tommy Oliver and also uh, make him into a uh, a Robo Ranger. So we have an evil Tommy Oliver. So all of a sudden Tommy Oliver comes in and he's like, hey. And so we all of a sudden realize that Tommy's actually just some big massive robot, like a Terminator. So we... Of course, now need Lord Draken to... Or Lord Draken, I, I made that mistake. We have Lord Draven that is to need uh, Madame Odious to go on and create these mega arrows. So that way, Lord Draven can go on and poke holes through this world to try to get to other dimensions. So maybe they can go on and team up with a number of other uh, villains in another number of other worlds. So we go on to have the Power Rangers realize that like, they can't go on and do anything about this right now. So they instead go off to uh to leave for a bit so we 
come to have Robo Ranger Tommy making his way through this dungeon and is to look at all these other rangers. And so we see the uh, gold samurai ranger. We end up seeing the... Uh, Uh, I don't remember any of these names. Um, Antonio. There we go. Uh, we end up seeing Antonio. We end up seeing Trent, uh, who, of course, is the white Dino Thunder White Ranger. Uh, we end up seeing TJ, who, of course, is the blue Space Ranger. We end up seeing Rocky, who, of course, was the Red Ranger that went on to be uh, the second... Uh, Red Ranger in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, series of things. And we end up seeing Catherine Hillard, uh, who is the pink Turbo Ranger in this episode. Uh, so, and hopefully I'm not going on and missing anything. Oh, uh, Gia Moran, that was also to be the Yellow Mega Force Ranger. And I think she is just, I don't think she's the, the Super Mega Force. I think she's the. Just normal Mega Force. So just letting everybody know. Because there's a difference between Mega Force and Super Mega Force. Because of course, the Super Mega Force is when they look like pirates. <laughs> Which I honestly like Super Mega Force. But I also get why uh, 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 Gia is not being Super Mega Force because then she be she could become like a billion different other Rangers, and so it just wouldn't make sense. So, just kind of powering her down a bit. So, we all of a sudden have evil Tommy, uh, Robo Tommy, that goes on to be adjusting uh, these certain uh, Robo clone devices to, uh, or Robo, wait a minute, there's a whole name for it, uh, Robo cloning computers, my bad. And he all of a sudden ends up getting blasted. And so Tommy is like, or, or Robo Tommy is like, hey, what's going on? So all of a sudden he goes on to send all of the, uh, the, oh my God, um, the minions out that, of course, are to be the, uh, basher bots to run after this power ranger but they can't see who it is they can't see who it is so we all of a sudden have robo tommy that's like oh, okay like go on and and uh like go after whatever that was so we now have the Super Ninja Steel and Excess Power Rangers wanting to try to go on and infiltrate uh, the place, of course, where all these Mega Arrows are because we, of course, had Lord uh, Draven that goes on to fire one of the arrows and is poking a hole into the dimension. So if they go on and if they have three arrows go in... Like, all is lost. So, that there's a whole dimensional barrier and everything that everyone has to get through. So, we have the Power Rangers taking one of the, the Basher bots. And Coda ends up grabbing them and taking them down easily. So, the Power Rangers try to infiltrate uh, the villain's base. I don't know what this base is called. So... We all of a sudden have a bunch of basher bots that are at both ends of these bridges. And so they realize, like, oh my god, we're outnumbered. Like, uh, there's no way out of this. We're probably all going to die. And then all of a sudden, this invisible Power Ranger just comes out of nowhere and starts taking out all of these... Uh, all of these... Uh, basher bots. And I'm like, wait a minute, is this the Phantom Ranger from Turbo? But come to find out, I had completely forgotten that at some point that 
uh, Tommy's character, who was in Dino Thunder, was to become invisible at some point. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. Like, they had the whole, like, like having Tommy, like, become invisible, and then he went into this coma. Like, it all happened around the same time in Dino Thunder, and I had completely forgotten about that whole story. So... I was like, oh, yeah, so this is obviously, like, Tommy, the invisible Tommy. So, we have Black Dino Thunder that shows himself to all these rangers, and like, they're like, Tommy? And then he powers down, it's like, yeah, guys, like, they didn't know that they were messing with the Black Dino Thunder Ranger, who, be who becomes invisible. And they're like, all right, so, we have Tommy and all the rangers going on, so... We have the uh, the Super Ninja Steel Rangers trying to go on and trying to get the Mega Arrows, while we also are to go on and have Tommy try to infiltrate and free all the other Rangers from them being cloned. So, we have Tommy that, of course, is, uh, or we have the Robo Tommy that's going on and uh, looking at all the, the cloned rangers and, and how these computers are processing these clones. And then all of a sudden we have Tommy who goes on to attack the Robo Tommy. And so now we have the Robo Tommy who's like, well, yeah, yeah, you're no match for me. And Tommy goes on and states, it's like, well, hey, I have a Master Morpher. If you don't have one of those, like, like uh, you're no match for me. So Tommy all of a sudden is to morph into the, uh, I think he morphs right away into the Zeo Ranger. And so... He morphs into the Zeo Ranger. No, 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 no. Like, he morphs into the uh, Black Dino Thunder Ranger. And so, we have uh, Robo Dino Thunder Black Ranger go on and attack Tommy. And all of a sudden, Tommy is to now have a hole in his helmet. And uh, come to find out... Jason David Frank had actually kept that Dino Thunder helmet that had the hole. And so it's like, okay, like, so he's, uh, he really had gone on to kept, keep like a number of mementos, like from all of these episodes. And that is really cool. So we then have Tommy that morphs instead into the red Zeo Ranger. There we go. And use, uses the Master Morpher. So, Tommy is fighting uh, Robo Tommy, and so doing a pretty good job, doing a decent job. But then all of a sudden, we then go on and have Tommy, who morphs into the White Ranger, is now going on and again fighting him off. And so we then go on and have Tommy, who morphs into the Green Ranger, and so even more so, like this, this Robo Tommy has met his match here. And then some, and more. So, we have Tommy that goes on to really just annihilate this Robo Tommy. And so, the Robo Tommy just explodes. And so, Tommy states, it's like, well, like, yeah, like, you definitely were no match for me. And so, all of a sudden, this Robo Tommy explodes. And so now the Green Ranger is running off, getting out of this uh, this environment. It's like, okay, like I freed all the other Rangers. They're all out of here. They're all safe. So we now go on to have the uh, the Super Ninja Steel Rangers trying to infiltrate this base to get to these Mega Arrows. So come to find out, I think we have the the pink and the red. And interestingly enough, we have, like, a guy who's a Yellow Ranger in this season. And I was thinking, I'm like, well, like, the only time that I've ever seen, like, a male uh, Yellow Ranger was in, like, Hyper Force. But I guess, like, they had one in, in Ninja Steel. Uh, I think also there might have been a Yellow... Um, 
maybe in uh oh god what was it the the other uh ninja season there was a like there was a blue there was a red and then there was a yellow i think and there was only like three of them it seemed uh but i think they added they added some later but i don't know the other i think it was ninja storm correct me if i'm wrong so we have of course the super ninja steel rangers both red and pink going on to find this uh, this case, this big massive case that has the Mega Arrows. So, weirdly enough, the Pink Ranger ties the Red Ranger to this container and is to say, it's like, well, hey, you need to go on and defend this thing like your life depends on it, so you're going to just be tied to this thing. And so, we, of course, have the Pink Ranger that tosses to... Uh, the the dragon sword sword that of course is to be from the super ninja steel uh like power ranger who he has this kind of european dragon so we have the blue super ninja steel zord going on and, and grabbing this thing and so he's like dragging it off so we had Lord Draven that goes on and takes every single one of the clone Power Rangers that he has left. Because, of course, uh, we have a one moment where Lord uh, Draven and both Evil Tommy were kind of looking at this big, massive number of all these Power Rangers. And it's like, yeah, I already have my clone army. So, all the Power Rangers, all the, all the evil clone Power Rangers and Lord... Uh, Draven all go out to spot this dragon sword just flying off. And so they're like, okay, what we need to do is, is we need to go on and we need to just blast and use all our blasters to fire at this, uh, like at the Zord and all the Power Rangers that are trying to get away. Because we have all the Power Rangers that, weirdly enough, have this, like, kind of gliding, almost like kind of parachute kind of thing. I don't know what they call that in this show, but it also looked really interesting. I'm like, okay, that seems, like, really different that they've put into this show. Where all of a sudden they have this kind of, like, parachuting thing. It's kind of like a glider parachuting kind of part of their suit that all of a sudden has them just fly off. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Uh, so... Like, all the rangers are flying off with the dragon zord, and so the blasts end up coming in, and now the blue ranger is realizing, oh my god, like, we're getting hit, we're going down. So, we all of a sudden see that the crate that is holding all of the mega arrows has broken, and all the, uh, the super mega steel power rangers have all now demorphed from the impact of them falling. So... Because all the blasting and, and all the heavy fire that they had taken. So now we end up going on to having, uh, of course, Lord Draven that I think ends up firing the second bow. And they're like, oh my god, like, uh, like we really need to stop this now. Because, of course, these guys are like hitting this dimensional barrier. And so... We end up now having the Super Ninja Steel Power Rangers needing to go on and fight against this army uh, and also hope that Lord Draven is not going to fire this third shot. So we go on to have all the Super Ninja Steels, they make their way to this clone army. And so uh, we, of course, have Lord Draven that tells the, the Super Ninja Steel, it's like, well, hey, like, it seems like you guys are outnumbered. And so all of a sudden we have a, uh, a, uh, a ninja reveal. And all of a sudden all the other Rangers are all there. We have Rocky. 
Uh, we, of course, have Gemma. We end up having Cat. We, Tommy, Coda, uh, Gold, Samurai Ranger, White, uh, Dino, Thunder Ranger, Blue Space, uh, Red Money Morphin, who is Rocky, uh, Megaforce, Gia, and Gemma, who is Silver Series, uh, RPM. So, they really wanted to just showcase, like, the, the seasons that everyone, uh, would probably go on and really care about, and then here's RPM. <laughs> I don't know about Dino Charge. I think a lot of people just like the fact that it's like, hey, another Dino season. Great. Another dinosaur season. Great. Um, but I think Samurai was actually a really good season. I think a lot of people just like Samurai. So we have all the Rangers who all morph because they're like, hey, what time is it? It's morphin' time. So all the Power Rangers simultaneously morph. And, like, they're all there. Morph now. So... We have all these sequences where we have, like, the yellow is with yellow, the pink is with pink. We having, uh, we have the, uh, the gold, of course, with the gold. And we really have, like, the samurai, uh, gold Power Ranger that, uh, has his, like, Barracuda weapon. <laughs> Which I was like, that is the goofiest thing to introduce in this show. But, like, they're still using it for whatever reason. And we, uh, oh, we also, I, I had to go on and, and, and talk about this whole action sequence that the, uh, the Super Ninja Steel went into. Because at one point, we had the Red, uh, the Red Ninja Ranger that goes and uses this, uh, this ninja star wire strike and it's like this grappling hook and I was like all oh, right like this guy's basically Batman and goes on to try to get to Lord uh, Draven and then we all of a sudden have the gold ranger that has this like rock storm blast and come to find out like the gold ranger in this season has this like weapon that looks like a guitar and I'm like what is this? <laughs> What is this goofy thing? Um, and then we also have the Red Ranger that has this, like, this arrow blast that it does, that he does with the... I'm like, what is this show? They have all kinds of weapons in this thing. What is going on here? So, uh, and then they had this steel slash final strike to try to, like, to try to take down Lord uh, Draven, but it doesn't work. So... Like, they're using all their weapons and nothing is really working. So, we... And that was that was earlier in the in the episode. I, I would rattle off all that, that sequence of them trying to fight off uh, the Lord Draken, or Lord Draven, and... God, it's so confusing. It's so tempting to just want to say Lord Draken. Um, and the, the Basher bots... So, we go on to have them all fight this out. All, like, all the rangers are combined with one another. It's really cool. Uh, like, all of them are just like, yeah, like, how about we have more pink here? Yeah. Like, how about more yellow? Yeah. Like, everybody's getting their, getting their lines in, every, everybody's getting their one-up, one-liners in, everybody's getting this in, that in, so on, so forth. So, finally, we have Lord uh, Draven that goes on to obtain the final Mega Arrow, as now he is to become, uh, make my monster grow moment where he's now more massive. So we have Lord Draven that is to take this arrow and is to be tempted to fire it off. And so we have all the Power Rangers of like, oh my God, what are we going to do? So Tommy thinks and is like, okay, like, well, I'm just going to become like the, 
the Falcon White Ranger. And so all of a sudden we bizarrely have Tommy who master morphs into being the uh, the White Ranger who has the Falcon power, but we don't have the, the Falcon coin, of course, because I guess they only had so many coins that day. So all of a sudden we have Tommy that now goes into the Falcon Zord to pull off like an Iron Man, like catching of the last nuke. And so Tommy and the Falcon Zord, I'm like, yeah, Falcon Zord. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen that Falcon Zord. And it also looks really good CGI'd in. I thought that that was wonderful. Uh, because normally when other times we've seen a Falcon CGI'd in, doesn't look all that well. So, the Falcon Zord catches the Mega Arrow and is to kind of turn around. And so, Tommy is telling all of the Rangers to get all their blasters ready and just start blasting at Lord Draven so he'll be distracted. And so, because Tommy's bringing something in. So, we all of a sudden have Lord um, Draven that's like, oh man, I'm getting pelted with blasts. And then all of a sudden, Tommy brings in the Mega Arrow to hit into Lord Draven. And you would think that would probably be like the perfect way to have Lord Draven come back in a later show somewhere. And him like either be different or him be another character or something. You would think that Lord Draven would still be alive somewhere. And they would have a whole story about it like, oh yeah, he wasn't dead. He just went elsewhere he just went to here but again maybe since super ninja steel wasn't doing that well because i'm assuming there's probably a big massive reason why there was probably a number of big uh people that came back for that show uh because i heard there were certain seasons that just no matter what they tried to do just were not gonna go that well uh like even dino thunder like dino thunder was a state like was not really going that well but they ended up calling tommy into like hey can you come back and tommy was just like well like who am i gonna be here and so like oh yeah you'll just be the black ranger and you'll have glasses and you'll be their mentor and tommy's like all right like that sounds good like i'll do that so weirdly enough tommy went back to try to boost the ratings of dino thunder and it just really didn't work like, it just evened out. And so Tommy's like, well, like, I guess there's just nothing you can do to just try to, like, get people really interested in certain seasons. Like, it just, uh, after a while, it just doesn't work. So no matter how many, like, special episodes you can do, no matter how many uh, big events you can try, like, sometimes it just doesn't work. So, like, they got to figure out what better way to do Power Rangers or reintroduce Power Rangers somehow. And hopefully they go on to do that at some point. To get people interested again. Uh, I would state it honestly should be just like. Put it on an app that someone can actually freaking see and watch. Uh, or on a channel somewhere that somebody can really find. <laughs> and like I get it. Like Power Rangers is now owned by Hasbro. And they're going on doing what they're doing and is what it is what it is. Uh, at some point, I think Dino Fury was on uh, was on Netflix. And I was like, yeah, cool. I can watch the current product, uh, Dino Fun Fury. Uh, I wanted to say Dino Thunder so badly. But so the Power Rangers go on to wipe out, uh, wipe out uh, Lord Draven and so, after that, everybody kind of depowers down. And so, that's, of course, when everybody's kind of, like, high-fiving everybody. And that's when everyone decides to leave. And then we have the red uh, Ninja Steel Ranger who's like, man, that was epic. And so, he leaves. So, with that said, uh, yeah, like, I'm sorry that that probably took, like, way longer than it should to have talked about all this, to have described all these things. But yeah, but I just, like, I also wanted to talk about every bit of Power Rangers that I've ever probably already talked about. 
and also talked about J Jason David Frank because that was a, a key thing to do. So, with that said, I'm just going to get out of here. Let me know in the comments below, like, what you're kind of going through lately, especially with uh, Jason David Frank passing away. Uh, but I thought I would go on and just, just do this to try to comfort myself. So, with that said, goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody.